Hey, hey, Taurus, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your September 2024 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Taurus, I'm getting no more settling, no more settling. It's as if some of you are making a major choice or change in your career, or perhaps you have, look at that, no is showing up here, no more settling. And it says, perhaps you are insisting that reality be something other than it is. Now you're saying, uh-uh, this is the reality, but I have the opportunity here to change it, okay? Working smarter, not harder at the bottom of the deck. And you actually have the settling card here as well. It says your soul is telling you that you're on the wrong path or you're not on the path that is going to bring you the most satisfaction. There is a change occurring here for you. And some of you may be even coming out of denial or there's a, a click. It's as if something clicks this month and you're like, wow, why didn't I think of that? Or this could even be going back to school, getting a certification, taking a little bit of a divine detour when it comes to your career. Yeah, no more settling. You've told yourself, this is a new path that I am wanting to go on. Six of Swords, new path. I want to work smarter, not harder. I want to be able to potentially retire, retire early. Some of you may even be moving and you have the Hierophant crossing your path. So you're reprogramming or unlearning everything you've learned in some way, shape, or form. And that is what is required of you to move forward towards a new beginning. And you have the Ten of Swords here showing up. So Ten of Swords is showing up in the reverse. So you've went back and forth on this as well. You've went back and forth. And there's a dream that you've had for quite some time. And as I say a dream, you actually have the star with the three of cups showing up and you see the big dipper. These two energies feel very much in alignment with each other. And this could be a dream that you've even given up on in the past, or you weren't quite sure that you'd ever be able to, you know, open that business or go back to school or you know, be able to retire or relocate, maybe have the financial abundance that you, you seek. I feel like something is shifting here within you and it's actually a really good thing. Look at that because it's going to help you get rid of or remove negative thinking or patterns that limit you. You have the devil showing up in reverse in the near future position. It may tempt you though. It may tempt you to stay where you're at because when we settle, right? When we settle, it becomes our norm. It becomes our comfort zone. And we sometimes feel like we don't have a way out. And this is the month that you say, oh, yes, I do. Knight of Swords is your energy. Spirit, what's going on in the environment? We're just getting all your cards out here before we dive into your reading. What's going on in the environment? Okay, how would you like? Thank you. You're going to choose to not invest in something that is bringing you down. Your hopes and fears, two of swords, choice, decision, transformation, outcome, death. You're putting an end to the situation. You're making a choice to, you have the choice to either resist or to go with the flow. So let's dive in here because I see a lot of new beginnings, endings bringing in new beginnings, but sometimes... A lot of times, endings are difficult. They're challenging. But I see that you're ready and you're going to do what it takes to move towards a path that's that feels more in alignment with what you truly want and desire, Taurus. Now, because we have settling and denial showing up here, your soul is telling you that there's a new path that is ready to be taken. Allow yourself the time and space to evolve and find your true path. If you're in a state of avoidance because the action 
if you're in a state of avoidance, it's, it could be because the action needed is too hard. It feels too difficult for you to be able to stretch out of that comfort zone. And spirit is saying, stop, right? That That is an energy of being in denial. It's not too hard. It may feel that way. It's maybe the presence of the devil that tells us that it's too hard just to stay put because the devil's going to tell you anything it wants right to keep you stagnant to keep you in a position here of opposition and the denial energy it says perhaps you are insisting that really that reality be something other than it is or what are you refusing to see with that two of swords showing up that's showing up in the hopes and fears so there is some sort of denial or refuse refusing this can be indecisiveness or even ignoring making a decision. And it says, if you've been putting up a false front to make money, it's time to remove that mask. And it doesn't mean that you've been lying or, you know, you've been in that imposter syndrome. I feel like it's maybe even at times faking it till you make it in a sense where that can be needed at times right we can say i'm not there yet but i'm getting there right i or i feel like i'm in this energy of abundance because that can be working with the law of attraction acting as if right and what i'm getting here i don't feel like that's it i feel like this is yeah basically the energy of the two of swords showing up here so there is a decision to make do i want to stay where i'm at but it doesn't bring me that, that fulfillment, that true wish that I've been hoping for and inspiring for quite some time. Or is it time to walk away? And I feel like you're having a very difficult time making this decision with the Hierophant. Why, are, why is this so difficult? Because it's in your belief system. It is something that you've learned. You have been conditioned. You may have even gone to school for. You may have committed the majority of your life on this path, right? It could be something traditional, maybe even non-traditional. The Hierophant is about institutions, learning, you know, our morals, but I feel like you're questioning it here. You're saying, is this the path that's going to lead to my, my greatest and highest good? And that's why we have the stairway right behind it. It's like the stairway to heaven, the stairway to ascension here. I'm getting a lot of you are mystics, your healers, your light workers, or you are here to raise the bar. That's what it is. Raise the bar in some way, shape, or form. Even if you work as, you know, a financial advisor or an accountant, you've learned a lot. Taurus, you're very grounded. You are an earth sign. You are someone who strives for success. Okay, strives for success. But I also feel for you, it's so very important to be doing your soul's work, right? Your mission. I have Taurus as my north node. And as much as, you know, abundance and financial success are part of it, it has to be in alignment with my soul because that's my true north. That's my calling. And I feel for you, that is something you've been really wanting to ascend in is bridging that gap and bringing the financial piece and the spiritual piece together and to ri raise the bar. I keep getting that message, raise the bar. So that could also be part of settling here. Don't settle for less than you deserve. Don't settle for mediocre. You're not here, Taurus, to live a mediocre life. You're meant for big things. That's why these two cards are coming out together. You have teacher, you have money manager, and you have retail. Some of you are teachers. A lot of you are spiritual teachers here to kind of set the bar or to be the catalyst in other people's ascension as well as your own. You have the ability to motivate others, to strive to uncover their true potential. Yes, you do. And some of you actually have a very powerful teacher that you've worked with. This could be a teacher, a healer, an influencer, someone who has motivated you, or perhaps 
You haven't had that. So you have become that for yourself. Ooh, that's a big one. I'm getting goosebumps here. Consider careers in teaching, coaching, mentorship, or being a motivated speaker, motivational speaker. You've learned much about money. This is a time to put it into practice. Some of you are teaching about money and the law of attraction. You may be even diving into the work of Abraham and Esther Hicks. This could be teaching others about how to work with their finances. I'm also getting Nancy Levin's book, Self-Worth Equals Net Worth. Okay, you could be diving into understanding and learning more about your career, your path, your mission, maybe even going back to school for some of you. You may be the student, you may be the teacher. We're always oscillating between the two. And our work is never done as far as growing and learning. It's always something we are striving to, you know, ascend in, which is why you have the Hierophant here, Taurus. I'm getting the name Don or Dan could be significant here. Or Daniel or... Yeah, Don, I feel D, D. It almost feels like there could be a couple of vowels and then an N, so Danin or something of that nature. So take it as it resonates. I'm not sure if that's a, a last name, a first name. It could be a location. Yeah, a lot of you are teachers. We have money manager here. So I do get a strong pull towards managing your money. Uh, some of you may have a career in money management, banking, accounting, or anything in finance. And Taurus, that's a really big part of you know your energy as well, is being able to be able to manage your finances and invest. Some of you are looking into different investments. This card could indicate your career or finances could take a giant leap forward. It literally says giant leap forward. And I feel once we let go of whatever this 10 of swords is, this 10 of swords, it's in reverse here. So for some of you, this is about denial. And I keep getting that here with the denial card. Okay. What are you refusing to see? If you've been putting up a false front, it's time to remove that front. Maybe the false front is saying, I can't make money doing this because that doesn't make money, right? Or even if it feels like it's a societal truth. So I'm just going to throw this out there. Poets don't make money. Don't go to school for poetry uh, or, you know, artistry of some sort. You can't make money selling your portraits or you can't make money selling your poems, right? Society tells us that, of course, maybe that scientifically could be, could be the truth. But what I'm seeing here is you can defy the odds. There's something about defying the odds. Now, of course, perhaps maybe that's part of the denial. Part of you are saying... I'm not going to give up on this dream, but is it a dream that is benefiting you? Because some of you may also be guided to work a job that brings in money, but not give up on, you know, a hobby or a dream because it makes you feel good. But maybe the, the reality piece of it is maybe that's part of you bringing that energy about by, incorporating the two in some way, shape, or form. And what I mean by that is finding balance by, you know, being over here, being very physical, maybe working that job, but over here, not giving up on your hobby because it's something you do enjoy. I hope that makes sense. So whatever is triggering you, whatever you feel like you could be turning a blind eye on or you're not wanting to see, I feel like now is the time uh, to... Embrace some sort of ending or an ending to a way of thinking. Okay, it says you can expect a happy outcome when it comes to your finances. And I also see for some of you, maybe the denial piece or the settling is this is all I'm going to ever be. This is all I'm going to ever make. Or I've, I've set the bar here, but that's where it ends. And Spirit is saying, uh-uh, you know, you have this opportunity to make a new choice or to rise above here in some way. Some of you, this is subconscious. 
And you may even be saying, Mel, I'm not sure if that resonates with me, but sometimes that devil can creep in and that can get stuck in our, you know, subconscious patterns and thinking. And that, that's why the Hierophant is here as well saying, are you aware of this? Are you aware that there are some limitations that may be keeping you in denial or keeping you from being all that you can be with the star? The money manager here is about, yeah, a giant leap forward. We also have retail. If you have an idea in mind, this is giving you the green light that there is a need for it. Yeah, if you wanna open up your own storefront, if you wanna be a motivational speaker, if you wanna be a reader on YouTube, whatever it is for you, you have this idea. Don't, don't give up on this hope, but it may require you. I feel a lot of you with this death energy, the Hierophant, the Ten of Swords, this is a mental block, right? Some of you, the denial piece of it is some sort of mental block. And we're going to look into what this is here in a moment. But it says, consider careers in retail or e-commerce, whether it is goods or services. Save time and energy and add positive income, making taking your business online. Yeah, there could be something online. I am getting an Aquarian type of energy, so perhaps technology. You may have an idea about an app. Some of you are wanting to sell goods and services online or start a retail business here. You may be approaching it differently. There may be an old idea that you need to let go of or, you know, and what I'm also picking up on is some of you, it's time to think outside the box. So perhaps letting go of something, maybe you've been making an item for quite some time and it hasn't been selling. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this out there again. Maybe you've been making some candles or some bath bombs and you've been selling them, but they haven't been doing as awesome as you'd like. It doesn't mean completely, you know, throw in the towel, but how can you branch off? You know, I'm also getting a reflective type of energy. Are you using these products? Do they benefit you? Do you feel... Are you in love with selling what you're selling? Are you in love with what you are putting out there? So I'm getting this energy of loving what you do. And for some of you, perhaps you are in a career or business where you're selling something, but there's no passion behind it, or you don't even know if you believe in it. And I feel like you may want to go off on your own, venture off and say, you know, I don't really agree with what I'm selling here. And you're coming out of denial, but you're saying I can... I can focus over here and bring about products that could really take off because it's coming from a different energy. I'm manifesting from a higher place with that belief system here, okay? Now, bottom of the deck, this is subconscious. We have working smarter. We have Einstein showing up here, which he says energy can neither be created nor destroyed, right? It can just be transmuted. And that's what you're doing here is there's something about transforming the energy. That's why your outcome, Taurus, is the death card transformation. It's not lost. There's nothing lost here. And some of you, you may have that mindset or mentality that this was a big loss or this was very difficult or I can't leave this behind because there will be a loss. But what if this ending is bringing in one of the most profound new beginnings that you've ever had? but it does require you to let go or to embrace the magic of new beginnings. It says, are you making it harder than it has to be? Sometimes the solutions are simple because we can overthink the heck out of things, right? We really can. We can get deep into our, our belief system and, and into our thoughts. We can go down the rabbit hole. I mean, whoever's had some sort of symptom and you put it on you know, Google and you go down the rabbit hole thinking you're gonna, you know, you have five weeks to live. So I feel like our mind can really take us down that rabbit hole, our thoughts, and that's kind of what you are retraining or you're looking into new ways to work smarter, not harder. It says, perhaps it's time to clean house personally and professionally to start with a clean palette. Stick to basic needs when it comes to spending and put some money aside. 
Yeah, put some money aside. And you're not going to believe this, but we have the student here as well. So we have the teacher and the student. So you decide where you're at at this time. You could be going back to school, right? You could be needing to work with a mentor to learn new skills or to teach you how to implement your plans. Perhaps this is, you know, a financial advisor, a professional, a business coach, a healer. I, there's someone here with the Hierophant that you may be calling in, okay? Or you are the one, like I said earlier, you are the one that is stepping up into this teaching type of role and you may be meant to help others at this time. You could be in school to pursue higher education or work for a school district. Teach yourself to succeed with money or get a financial advisor to teach you. I'm also getting the workings of potentially Dave Ramsey, or you're looking into uh, one of my favorites, uh, Mark, I believe his name's Mark Kohler online. You may be looking into, you know, YouTube channels that work with money and help you maybe build a business. Some of you are looking at, you know, tax incentives, things around um, how to build your business, maybe turning your business LLC into uh, into an S corp. I'm getting that showing up here as well. So you're, you're reconfiguring. You have a very smart mind. Some of you, yeah, you have an, an Einstein mind here. And I feel like you are putting yourself in a position of, of advancement in some way, shape or form. So diving in, we have the six of swords. Now, again, you have many, many cards of moving on, but it feels like there's resistance. I feel like this came out in reverse. Ten of Swords came out in reverse. The Death card came out in reverse. So what that means is there's some sort of resistance. There's some sort of subconscious block. What is it? It's right here. It's the, the settling, the denial. It is the Hierophant. So dig into your belief system. And is the belief that you have to settle or stay where you're at because that's all that you're going to get. Okay. I feel like that's a big part of it. And the answer is you can move on to calmer waters. That's what the six of swords is all about here. Six of swords is the energy of freeing yourself. It is coming out stronger. Yes, you may feel a little bit stuck, but you are going through a spiritual journey or spiritual transition to something better and it does require you leaving this energy behind leaving a mental block behind i mean swords is intellect it's thought it's mental it is all about clearing up obstacles making new decisions it's the power of the mind it's being logical here as well and i feel like you're trying to be logical but that devil pulls you back in at times and starts to tell you lies that aren't true right but you're, you are moving forward. Six of swords. This could be at, in as little as six weeks time. Uh, but we're going to get a timing card at the end of the reading. But showing up crossing your path is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is either becoming that spiritual guru that you absolutely are. Stepping into that. Trusting your intuition and your own inner guidance. Your higher self. Your higher power. Being able to ascend. For others of you, you have received advice that wasn't favorable, it wasn't beneficial, or it may have caused challenges in some way, shape, or form. But the fact that this is crossing you says you have every, every ability within you to reprogram a belief, to teach yourself, to go back to school potentially, or to learn in a new way. You're not starting over from scratch or starting over from, you know, wisdom. You now have some sort of wisdom behind you and you're able to take what you've learned and put it into action. Really, that's what creates wisdom within us. You're very wise. You're very intelligent. You are someone who is able to tune into energies in a big way, Taurus. And I feel like you are always wanting to grow and ascend and take that next step. But sometimes, or maybe even lately, it's felt like you've taken two steps back to take one forward. And it feels like a little bit of a tug of war here. 
But I feel like there could be good news coming in for you with this Hierophant. And this good news could be coming from your higher power or your intuition here. There is a clear knowing that you're meant to move on to a new path or a new journey. Below you, the star. The star is hopes, dreams, inspiration. It's guidance. It's healing. And I feel like below you, this is Aquarian energy. We were talking about that earlier. This can be about technology and taking something to the next level, shooting for the stars, right? Shoot for the stars here. And some of you have gone through a tower because what comes after the tower is the star. And I feel like you've worked your way up. You're a hard, strong, solid worker. You've put in your blood, sweat, and tears towards, you know, towards your finances, your money. And the star here is saying that you inspire many. I feel like you do. You, again, set the bar for the healing or inspire others to to be the best that they can be. That was on one of your cards here. Yeah, you have the ability to motivate others to strive to uncover their true potential. And perhaps there was someone in your path, as mentioned, that helped you do this, or you have become that person for yourself and you're able to guide others, Taurus. But it requires you to let go, to surrender. Yeah, there's something about control. Uh, and I actually, I really like this Ten of Swords because a lot of times the Ten of Swords, you know, it looks very difficult. The illustration of the Ten of Swords is the Ten of Swords in the back. It can be betrayal. It can be backstabbing. It can be a very painful ending. It could be, you know, a uh, job loss. I don't really feel that way here for you. I almost feel like this requires your effort. I mean, yes, some of you may have gone through a job loss or you may have gone through a difficult situation here, but I feel like this requires your effort or your free will to leave behind something, to embark upon a new path. This is a new day has dawned, and this is your recent past here as well. Some of you are hearing crows, crows or birds could be significant, Taurus, but you're moving on towards a new beginning. And the sky looks bright. This is the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper points the direction to the North Star, right? And I feel like you're looking to the stars for advice. This is communication. It's collaboration. Three of Cups is celebrating. It could be a news of, you know, a new job. It could be abundance. Maybe some of you are passing a test. There could be an exam coming up. This could be a universal test, right? Are you ready? Yes, you are. And the mind may be playing tricks saying, eh, I don't know if I'm ready for this, but I feel like you are. The devil showing up here in reverse says there will be temptations to fall back into old patterns, but with it in reverse, I feel like you're freeing yourself from it. Yeah, and because we have the six of swords, you're telling yourself a new belief. And the way that the hierophant here is formed is, you know, through our conditions, through, you know, our experiences. But what you're doing is you're saying, I view my reality based on what I've gone through. It's the lens in which you view your reality is based on what, you know, you've, you've experienced thus far. And I feel with the work of your, your spiritual self, right? You connecting to your team and connecting to your mission and your, you know, your higher self, I feel like you're breaking patterns and you're saying, but I'm worth so much more. I'm going to help people. I'm going to, I'm going to make money doing this. I am going to be successful doing this. There's a reprogramming taking place and you're not letting the devil hold you back, whatever that is for you. The devil can be temptations, obsessions, fears, codependency, materialism, manipulation, whatever it is, you're reclaiming your power. And I see you doing it quite quickly. Knight of Swords is New belief, right? It is rushing towards what he believes is important. And I feel like this is a hero energy, right? There's assertion here. There's direct energy. Whatever this new belief or something that you've recently learned, okay, about yourself or you've instilled a brand new energy to a belief, right? It's almost as if you have some new neurotransmitters going on in the brain. Uh, you have started to, you know, connect 
a new path instead of taking the same one. Because when you take the same one, let's say you're going through a giant, uh, you know, giant field, cornfield, right? And you start to go in, you know, one direction, you go there over and over, it starts to create a path just like within our brain. And I feel like you've decided to go a new way because you're thinking, well, what if I could actually get to my destination by going through this path? I've never taken that before. And what you're doing is you're working smarter. You've decided to open up to a new path that you haven't taken before. And you've, you realize that there's a lot more work that is being done in maybe a quicker time or you're able to make more money doing this or you know this direction gets you more in some way and i don't feel like more in necessarily just the physical but it's it's the label that we're going to put on this ascension okay i feel like the knight of swords is a new belief that you're taking action and quick action towards now you're going to invest in things that fulfill you and you're going to stop investing in whatever this devil is that's why you have endings okay the devil is saying stay stay settling we want to keep you keep you in denial keep you attached keep you you know hung on you know like a puppet to the strings and seven of pentacles in reverse says whoa wait a minute Plans didn't go out as expected, but I can trust in a divine detour. I can trust that I've already planted the seeds. There's already growth here, but I can pivot. I can change course, even if it feels like it's last minute here. Some of you, I'm getting the message around a second exam, or you've had to do something twice. Perhaps you didn't pass the first time in some way, shape, or form, whether that's an exam, it's a test, it's an interview, but I feel like there is a, a another chance. I don't know if it's of the same, if it's the same thing or if it's something new, but I am getting second chance energy here to grow and to evolve, to put your energy towards what does bring about fruition. But it's been difficult for you because like I said earlier, you put a lot of time into this. Maybe you've been working for a company for quite some time or you've, you know, put a lot of your knowledge towards something and you're thinking, Mel, I've spent so much time. Do I really want to move forward over here? That's going to require you to take off a blindfold. Two of swords showing up in your hopes and fears. Some of you may not have enough information, right? It may feel like there's insufficient data or lack of facts. That's why you're at a crossroads. The head is going in one direction, the heart in another. This is about making a decision. Don't ignore this decision showing up. Don't ignore the path to move in a new direction here. That's why you have the 10 and the, the death card as your outcome. This is a really beautiful death energy and this does, wow, and actually doesn't it kind of look like Einstein there a little bit, uh, caped Einstein, but what this is, is a beautiful portal. This isn't a scary death, not on this card, not in this energy. This is rebirth and you can see that through that crown chakra, there's a portal, there's an opening or even in that third eye region, there's something here that you know, seeing, seeing is believing or believing is seeing. Thank you, spirit. Belief, because this is the, the star, belief. Even if you don't quite see it because there's no eyes on the death, right? Even if you don't see it doesn't mean that it's not manifesting or it's impossible. Remember the word impossible itself, Taurus spells I'm possible. And so there's a major transformation that you are currently going through in regards to your career, your finances, your wealth, your abundance. And I do feel like this is going to transform your life in big ways. And some of you, it's as if the second half of your life is going to be more prosperous, more abundant than the first half. Okay. Not saying that it was, you know, awful the first half. For some of you, it may have been. But with this star energy, the stars are aligning here to bring you something quite profound let's clarify i just want to get one card with the death what do we need to know about the death what do we need to know about the death knight of coins patience to succeed oh there's another message coming in here for some of you 
one message, okay, take it as it resonates. Some of you may want to give up on a dream because it isn't manifesting quick enough. Spirit is saying, don't give up, okay? Patience to succeed. And some of you, I feel like there could be a rushing or unbalanced actions. And Spirit is saying here, I mean, just for, take it as it resonates. It's only going to resonate with a small majority of you. Uh, but I feel like there is death and rebirth in how you approach this dream, okay? So don't give up on this dream. I mean, that could be for all of you, but it could be a new way. It shows up in a new form, right? It could show up as a new energy, but patience to succeed while you are undergoing this massive transformation with the Knight of Coins because this coin energy is years. It takes years, and I feel like there is a lot of success here. A lot of success coming in. Spirit, can we get a timing card? Can we get a timing card for what do we need to know here? For perhaps the celebration that we see with the Three of Cups coming in. What's the celebration coming in? In a few months. Okay, good. In a few months. So it may be that there's going to be that celebratory energy you may still be feeling like you're going a little bit back and forth. And this could be celebrating. I mean, it looks like they're in a classroom, perhaps in a few months. So let's see, August, September, October. Um, by November, even December, there could be, you know, a brand new opportunity, a new level of graduation. Yeah, because they're showing me the Hierophant. And I actually feel like you're going to be way higher up. Like a new bar has been set. And I, I keep hearing that message. And in a few months, maybe you're the teacher or you have, you know, finished some sort of degree or certification because it looks like she's helping someone out here in the classroom. And in the back, it says mistakes are... And it almost looks blurred out here. Spirit, can you tell me what this is? Mistakes are part of the ascension. Okay, yeah, I cannot read what it says in the very back. All I see is mistakes are. And that's probably for you to fill in that blank. What are mistakes to you? Are they what's holding you back? saying that that was the biggest mistake ever? Or, you know, are they, do you look at them as a stepping stone? And that's what I'm seeing here. Mistakes are part of the ascension. Yeah. All right. Let's get a message from the wisdom of the oracle. What do we have for the wisdom of the oracle? For Taurus, please. Thank you. Time for a nap. <laughs> Some of you are ready to hit the snooze button. Uh, time to, oh, time to wake up is what I'm getting. Time to wake up. That's part of this settling and denial. Okay, interesting. We had card 24, 24th of September could be significant. Now, September, we are moving into a season change here in the Northern Hemisphere. We're going into the autumn or fall time. And so you may be feeling the energy shifts within yourself as well. And I feel like you could be waking up from maybe a nap. Uh, this can be temporary non-action, allowing dreams to arise. And we have the dream card here for you as well. This is rejuvenation. This is renewal. Okay. Okay. When it comes to prosperity, this is a great time to take a break from your busy schedule and allow yourself the opportunity to step back. Your plans are meant to be put on ice. Perhaps your goals can wait, dream, imagine, and let go of attachments to any outcome. There's the devil, okay? And the dream, the three of cups, this is emotional connectiveness. This is, you know... Connecting with your soul tribe, your family, other like-minded individuals. It says meditate, take a holiday if you can. Things will speed up soon enough after a break. You may want to make some changes. Epiphanies have an amazing way of arising when you take your focus off your to-do list and allow yourself to rest. So I am getting some of you. There is gonna there is a waking up, but it may come after the the summertime break, right? A lot of times that summer energy is, you know, um, is fun. It is, you know, rejuvenating. And then, you know, September rolls in, we get back to work. So I also am getting, some of you could be traveling 
and after some sort of travel or after some sort of downtime or perhaps there's a, even a two week notice, maybe a weekend getaway, it's as if epiphanies strike and I feel like you will come back with a clear understanding of what you need to do. And remember, Taurus, you're a human being, not a human doing. Is it possible you're suffering from workaholism? Could you be the one who thinks it's your job to save everyone, to be there for everyone, and to go, go, go until you can barely see straight? You've gone as far as you can. You've worked hard and nourished people and projects, but now you are an empty well and you don't have reserve for others or yourself. Don't let your ego, that can be the devil, right? Don't let your ego keep you going full speed when your body and spirit need rest. If exhaustion is calling you to stop what you're doing altogether and take a break, then do it. If you don't, the appearance of this card could pretend a possible illness that stems from being totally overwhelmed. You will feel like a new person if you take that break. Do it now. Yeah, do it now. So I feel after some sort of break here, after some sort of rest, you're going to come back with a a renewed sense of understanding here, of inspiration, of hope, but allow yourself to step back and rest if need be, because I am getting a waking up, a waking up here, and it's going to shift everything with the death card. This is a big transformation though. It really is, but I feel like it's for the better because we have ascension here and we have underneath it working smarter. So remember, I feel like it's time to clean house, personally, professionally, start with a clean palette. So yeah, stick to basic needs when it comes to spending and put some money aside. Now let's get a few messages from your spirit animals. And at this time, Taurus, I just ask if you can, please close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in from your solar plexus chakra, your belly area. Nice big inhale. Hold it as long as you can and release with a nice big sigh out your mouth. <sighs> and with your eyes still closed, tune into your third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky. It could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. Perhaps your animals are wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. This could be a pet that you have at home, one that's crossed over the rainbow bridge or maybe even crossed your path recently in the great outdoors. There is no right or wrong answer, Taurus. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you're ready. And for those of you that would like to enter into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is drop your power animal or animals, whether you have one or five, drop them in the comment section below the video and make sure to hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss the notification as I will post the winner to this channel around the first of the month. All right, first of each month. So make sure to comment below. All right. Some of you may be 40 years old, 60 years old. You may be born on the 10th or the 22nd. You have the Buffalo spirit, which is one of my personal faves. The abundant universe will provide. I want you to write that down. Let that be an affirmation that you connect with on a daily the abundant universe will provide. That's what Buffalo Spirit is reminding you. It's also card 10. 10 the wheel of fortune. This is a turning point in your life. You don't have to repeat some sort of cycle. You don't have to give up on some sort of dream because it's showing up here for a reason. We have dragonfly. Truth transcends illusion. That is the denial. There's some sort of devil energy 
that is an illusion. It's false evidence appearing real, the acronym for fear. There's something you are fearing, but when we embrace the energy of truth, that is how we come out of denial. And dragonfly is transformation, and that's your outcome. So a reminder that truth transcends illusion. Truth transcends through that fear. Beautiful. We have swan spirit. Time for a deep dive. Deep dive potentially into belief system. A deep dive into, you know, your soul's self, right? Maybe in that big dipper energy of your true north. It's time to go within. Time for a deep dive. Next, we have mouse spirit. Tend to the small things. Card 40. So, yeah, this can be... Cleaning house as Einstein, was it Einstein that said that? Yeah, it's uh, perhaps it's time to clean house personally and professionally. That's what mouse spirit is reminding you as well. I'm also getting something, now this is very interesting. I don't know if this is actually true, if it was noted, if it was a fact, I'm, I'm not sure. It's coming to me right now where Einstein was afraid of mice or there was something, maybe, maybe not fear, maybe there wasn't fear, maybe there was something about studies done Studies done on mice. I mean, I'm not sure what that energy is, but I feel like the two of them are related in some way, shape, or form. Card 40. Four is structure. A change in structure. Reconfiguring the foundation. It is taking a look at stability in a new way and planning for the future. So tend to the small things now because they will be the big things later. As they say, when we tweak our habits each and every day, that's what brings the, the biggest success is our daily habits. And that's what I see you doing here. Wow. Last but not least, let's get a message from your guides. What do we have? The advice here, message for Taurus, please, for the month of September. I know some of you are hushing me saying, Mel, don't even say September yet. All right, what do we have here for Taurus, please? Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? It's... It's not, it's not beneficial for you to hide in the shadows or to dim your light or stay attached to this energy or to stay in denial or to settle. You are meant to shine, shine bright Taurus, like the diamond that you are. That is what I have for you, beautiful souls. If you like the message, please hit that thumbs up. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you haven't already. And make sure to drop your power animals in the comment section below to be entered into the free reading giveaway. Thank you so much, Taurus. Lots of love.